Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Passive Income Lifestyle Series right here at Ashcroft Capital. I'm Travis Watts, the Director of Investor Development. In today's episode, what we're talking about is the pain of discipline or regret. Disclaimers is always never financial advice, not telling you or anyone what to do with your money. Please seek licensed financial advice when it comes to your own investing. Now, with that top of mind, today's episode was actually inspired by a quote by Jim Rohn. Jim Rohn once said, we must all suffer from one of two things, the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. So as this pertains to investing in finance, the journey to financial success really does require a lot of discipline. And I think for a lot of people, this gets missed because in the media, in the news, in documentaries and movies and everything that we're exposed to in the modern world, the emphasis is on the outcome. You know, look at this multimillionaire, look what this billionaire is doing. Everyone likes to shine light on, you know, the end result. Very few touch on the process and the journey that it took to actually get there, what some refer to as the 10 dark years a lot of highly successful people went through an approximate 10 year time frame that was rather dark. It was just working and grinding and not a lot of money and not a lot of results until they could finally break through with a product or investment. Now, as for the pain of regret, I think that far too many people work in careers or jobs that they truly don't enjoy. They work for a much longer period than they ever anticipated working for. And if you just kind of zoom out and use a little perspective real quick and think about being a child for a tiny brief period of your life and then being in education and school system for many, many years, entering directly into the workforce and working up until the day you die, that's not a very inspiring or uplifting thought. So what's the answer? What are we supposed to do? And while I certainly don't have all the answers, I do think it's worth unpacking a little bit and considering a few different things. For example, number one, just accepting that life entails sacrifice. And as Jim Rohn points out, that we have the choice between discipline and regret, you get the choice to decide which one you're going to pursue. And now, assuming that you choose discipline, the first question to ask at that point is, are you willing to dedicate to this as a lifelong pursuit? Because it really is a lifelong pursuit. It's a lot like having children. It's, it's not just 18 years, it's a lifelong decision that you should really consider and make sure that that's the path that you're comfortable taking. And it's also worth focusing on the outcome. In other words, what could you achieve if you were to dedicate your life to discipline? Would it be early retirement or just regular retirement? Would it be being in better health? Would it be more time with friends and family? Would it be living to an older age and debatably i mean my opinion is that these things are worth pursuing the discipline for but again that's just my opinion and by the way my opinion really is deep rooted from my own perspective early on in terms of my own family i had a lot of family members who passed away early for example my my grandpa carl he passed away eight months before I was born. So he never even had the chance in his life to meet me. I got to spend no time with him. And that's a big regret, obviously. I would assume that's a big regret if, if uh, he could speak today and, and say that. My, his son, uh, Anthony, I called him Uncle Buddy. Uncle Buddy was a great guy. Everybody loved him, a very hard worker. He passed away when he was 58 years old in the middle of his working career. I uh, didn't get a lot of time to spend with him. I was very young. And again, he didn't really get to know me. So in reflection of those two just quick random examples and many other family members who have passed uh, early in my own family, I was just recently on a vacation with my dad, who's now in his 70s. And I just can't even articulate how 
grateful I am to be able to spend time with him today and the fact that he gets to spend time with my son, his grandson, and that he's spending time with my sisters and traveling and living a life that he wants to live because he was able to retire and that was due to having lifelong discipline over money and savings and frugality and uh, quite frankly, just investing in real estate for many years and building up diversified passive income streams. So in any case, I, I know this was an interesting episode, a short episode, maybe an offbeat episode, but I really appreciate you being here and, and tuning in and listening to this message. I, I think it's worth sharing with others. I think it's definitely something to consider and think about. Are you going to pursue discipline or have regret? You're listening to the Passive Income Lifestyle Series right here at Ashcroft Capital. I'm your host, Travis Watts. If you ever have questions, want to take a deeper dive, want to learn more, reach out, Travis at ashcroftcapital.com. To learn more about passive income, real estate investing in the commercial multifamily space, visit ashcroftcapital.com for current offerings and opportunities. Please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps the channel and videos like this reach more people like you. Until we meet again in the next episode, have a great week, everyone. I appreciate you being here.